We're live. Hi everyone, this is Sarah. Hi, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dead Space. Welcome back. Credits. Time oh wait, you should let him talk. Down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. You have to crank the centrifuge. Isaac, all the hamsters that run on our wheels are dead. They got killed by necromorphs. We're gonna need someone to get those wheels spinning again. Um, remember the, the elevator out of Blighttown in Dark Souls 1 that has a little dog on a hamster wheel powering it? Yes. Roger disappeared this morning and I have to assume he's dead. That means I don't have to fill out his pay stub. It's a waveform. This is Temple. Now the central Rock again. We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. Oh yeah, we also ran the uh, recording back to see why Sarah tried to like run through it. It's because I told her to go kill it. We keep playing these games where you play as a silent protagonist who's an engineer or some other smart job. Which is the best type of protagonist, by the way. But yeah, while I was playing Half-Life 1 with Sarah, I was like, man, you know what, I want Half-Life 2. And like, all while we were playing Half-Life 1, I was just wishing that we were playing 2. And so, in between recording sessions, I played Half-Life 2 and all the expansions. De de oh, decontamination. I thought it's a detonation. Anyway, so, um, in Dead Space 2... Oh, fuck me, running. Might want to get your big gun ready. Can you scroll the wheel on the mouse? Uh, not a good time. It changes weapons. It's supposed to, at least. No, it does not. Damn. That's weird. That's... You would think that would be standard. Okay, where is it? Listen. There he is. Good. Reload that thing. Remember that you had almost no ammo last time. Anyway, so I was playing Dead Space 2, and uh, infectors are a big problem in that game. And when they introduce you to them, there's never anything between you and them. They're just, it's just a problem. So I was expecting that, and I told Sarah, run up and go kill them. So that's on me. Uh, and, and so it starts the whole, like, encounter off on a miscommunication. Well, he's dead. And the music has gone quiet, which is usually a good sign. Oh. Well, yeah, thank you for explaining that, because, like, I often am, like, uh, like, auditory processing. I just kind of, like, skip things. Yeah. So I didn't see the glass, and I assumed that they would just dump you in. But, like, this game's actually surprisingly forgiving. But, like, I, uh, I appreciate, like, like, running in back and, like, uh, kind of, like, getting an explanation of, like, why did I feel the need to, uh try and uh, kill an unkillable enemy. See, so yeah, it was me. Although, again, like, there, there is just a, a bunch of disconnect between how strong Isaac is. Because, what's that gun you're holding, Sarah? What's it called? The plasma cutter? What, yeah, what do you think it's for? It's it, arms? No, it, like, in the real world. Cutting plasma? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the plasma cutter. It cuts plasma. I have plasma no cutters use plasma to cut. They're actually real. Okay, what are they used for? Cutting through rocks. Mm. So you would think you could use a plasma cutter to cut through metal, which is a type of rock. By the way, can you use the arrow keys to change your weapon? Uh, Nope, and I can't use the scroll. That's so weird. Why is it just the number keys? Especially considering it has a radio menu. Like, it was it was built for along. console, I know. It, it is better to play with a controller, but I'm making Sarah do this, so when she plays Half-Life 2, it's smoother. Is this just, like, gooped over? Ugh. Ugh. Well, I feel very welcome here. I can't even be sarcastic right now. I'm... Uh, I want those goodies. If only you could reach something Pulse from rounds. further away. Hmm. Thank you. What What did I get? A semiconductor? A gold semiconductor. Oh, I can sell that, right? Yep. 
So do I just run out of air every time I use it? What? Like, it persists? I guess I don't understand the purpose of air cans. Okay. Well, that's why they got rid of them in Dead Space 2. In this game, you only have 70 seconds of air by default. Okay. If you burn through those and you're not done with a puzzle, you need more air. Can you remind me what... And you got, you got hostiles as well. Can I just get rid of them? Get rid of who? The hostiles in the room. You could shoot and them, yeah. Sorry, I'm having difficulty getting through this door. So is he... Good. Thank you. Uh, what? Did you see the thing that popped up on screen? Yes. You know you can get closer to it too, right? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just a little confused. All right, control. There's like three different things that I'm trying to do and like, I'm just so unused to. So what's the problem? It's spinning. Mm-hmm. So stasis first. Then. And then sling it in. And now it's locked in place. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention, okay. Next 30 seconds has spoilers for Dead Space 3. Sarah knows that the final boss of Dead Space 3 is a And she knows this because I told her. The reason she knows that is because we were just idly watching like horror games last year. Um, and one of them just happened to be Dead Space 2 because we were just watching it. And so we were just shooting the shit and talking about horror games and I like caught her up on Dead Space because I didn't know that she was going to be playing it. Uh, and this year we watched Where? The Shitstorm by the same people. Ah! You... Get him! Get those limbs! Get more limbs! Attempt. Remember you can walk and shoot. You're not Leon. Alright. That was... It's alright. It was alright. Should I be here? Yeah. There's a handrail. You're running out of oxygen, by the way. That's why I asked if I should be here. Well, you have oxygen, but you just got to get back to the safe zone. You're doing great, Isaac. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Where am I going? There and focus on the engine. I don't know how much time we have left. Where am I going? Alfred? You're going out the way you came in. You walked into the um, giant spinning arm. I see. Oh, God. Okay, how did you get in here? That door? Over there. Yeah, okay, so. Okay. No. What you doing? Why can't I jump over there? Didn't you listen? No. It said gravity restored. Oh. You just turned the gravity back on in here, in fact. You're doing great, Isaac. Okay, wait. Look at, look at the wall. Look at the wall. Okay. What? At the wall. What wall? That wall. Okay. Danger. Don't stand in the swinging arm. Okay. Don't laugh! No, no, I'm not laughing at you. It's just his head went spinning. <laughs> I just don't get it. Oh. Hmm. I see. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. Little, little, uh... It's kind of weird, because I so assumed that you would just slow it down. Like, they give you so much stuff to do with stasis. Hello, guy. 
Well, he's the engineer. Um. Careful, don't just charge in. Yep. You're doing great, I oh man, you have to go so long. Wow. Oh, I see what happened. It cut through the, uh, careful. <laughs> that stomp, that stomp ate up some of your time. Good, right through the shoulder. Like there's just so many like cubbies in here. It's so quiet, I feel like I have to be quiet. Yeah, isn't it cool? Okay. All right, Sarah. Standby, of course. Yay, we did it. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Mm-hmm. 